Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brown Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. In this video, I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, July 24th, 2019. San Diego Comic-Con just concluded, so there's a bunch of books out there people are hunting for. Some Jane Foster, Thor, some Blade, Black Widow, a bunch of other books, which is good because this week is a light week for me as far as my picks go. But before we get into the picks, I want to give a huge shout out to all the new Simple Man's Comics Patreon members. Thank you so much for your support. And with that being said, let's get into the picks. We kick this week off with Batman Curse of the White Knight number one. This is the sequel to Sean Murphy's earlier White Knight series, written and drawn by Sean Murphy. There's going to be a regular cover, as well as a regular price variant, both by Sean Murphy. Next, we have Flash number 75. This is going to be the finale to the year one storyline. If you haven't been reading it, I highly recommend you do. If you watched our hot cold video last week, this was the hot pick from our guest speaker, Rod from Just a Reek and Comics YouTube channel. Great story. If you love year one, if you love Flash, definitely pick this up. It's going to have a regular cover by Howard Porter, as well as a regular priced variant by Francis Manipole. Justice League Dark number 13. The battle of Dr. Fate has come to an end, but... The Helmet is Searching for a New Host. This has a regular cover by Gail and March, but why I like it and why it's in this video is the regular price variant by Dan Quintana. Well, I say regular price, it is a little bit more because it is the cardstock variant, but we're talking like a dollar more. Wonder Woman number 75. He's gonna have two covers for it. You have the regular cover by Terry Dotson. What I like on this one also is that You're the Villain cardstock variant. It's by Jenny Friesen, who's a super hot artist right now, and it's got Cheetah on the cover. I like this. New Wonder Woman 1984 movie coming out has Cheetah as the villain in it. There's not too many great Cheetah covers, but this one I like. I'm not saying it's going to go nuclear, but still an awesome cover. Jenny Friesen picking that up. Kind of the same reason behind that whole Art Germ Cheetah variant that came out not too long ago. Get it cheap. Who knows? May go up, may not. But either way, great cover, especially for such a low buy-in. And you probably find that Art Germ Cheetah variant on sale at a lot of websites too. Warlord of Mars Attacks number two. There's a bunch of different covers for it. I only have it in this video because I'm a huge fan of Greg Hildebrandt's art. He has the cover A for this as well as an Incentive Virgin variant. Love the art on this. I'm going to be picking that up as well. Star Pig number one. This comes from IDW. It's about a 16 year old girl who goes to space camp in actual space. Disaster ensues and a big old space water bear saves her and her disc man. This looks like a phenomenal story. It's from IDW. Kind of reminds me, let's say like a Peter Quill, but as a teenage girl. Only, I say that only because it seems to be focused on her, her disc man, and 90s soundtrack. There's gonna be a regular cover by Sarah Richard. There's also an incentive variant for this by Francesco Gaston. Farmhand number 10, this is from Image Comics. This is another one that I have in here just for reading alone. Robert Gilroy is doing a fantastic job on the story. This one is always in my monthly pool list. This is, comes to the end of the current story arc, so definitely picking this up. Highly recommend you read this book if you haven't already done so. Weatherman number two. This is another series I really enjoy reading. This issue also introduces us to Pace and Pickles, a new ally guarding a dangerous secret. Either way, fantastic read. Fairly low print run on these issues, but well worth picking up. Gonna have a regular cover by Nathan Fox, a regular price variant by Andrew Robinson, as well as a regular price variant. Getting into Marvel books. Marvel's gonna have the most books in this video coming out this week. We're gonna start off with Age of Conan Belic, Queen of the Black Coast number five. This is gonna have a regular cover by Sanat Takeda. You might know from work on Monstrous. It's also gonna have a regular price action figure variant by John Tyler Christopher. But what I like on this, and what is my pick of the week this week, is the Incentive 1 in 25 variant by Jenny Frizen. I like it. One, because it's Jenny Friesen, but two, issue number four had a print run of less than 14,000, which is really small, especially for a Marvel book. But take that, add a 1 in 25 ratio to it, add the popularity of Jenny Friesen. I think this book might go under the radar, but either way, fantastic cover, adding it to my pool list. Fearless number one. Here we have a team-up book with Captain Marvel, Storm from X-Men, and The Invisible Woman. Looks like a fun read. It's gonna have three different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Yasmin Putri. There's a regular price connecting variant by Jenny Friesen. Man, we sure are hearing that name a lot. As well as an incentive variant by Jim Bartel. I'm liking the Bartel variant on this, especially since it's an incentive ratio variant, but 
I definitely picked that Frizz and Connecting Brain up as well. Next, we have History of the Marvel Universe number one, as told by Mark Wade. So here we're gonna get the history of the Marvel Universe from the Big Bang on, and it's gonna have multiple different covers. We have a regular cover by Steve McNiven. We have a regular price variant by Javier Rodriguez, an incentive variant by Nick Bradshaw, a one in 50 incentive variant by David Marquez, a hidden gem incentive variant by John Buscema, and an incentive virgin variant of the Steve McNiven cover. I personally like the one in 25 variant by Nick Bradshaw. Love the art on that, so that's the one I'll be picking up. And of course, the big release from Marvel this week is House of X number one, written by Jonathan Hickman. This is supposed to redefine X-Men as we know it, and to do so, they're gonna give us a bunch of different covers for it. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about all of them, but here they are up on the screen for you to see. Marvel Tales Hope number one. This has the regular cover and the incentive virgin variant by Jim Bartel. I think this is probably out of all those Marvel Tales, out of all the Marvel Tales that she's been doing, I think this is the cover that I like the least. But be anxious to see if that virgin variant still demands a premium or if they're starting to die down. This issue does reprint Incredible Hulk number 324, Savage She-Hulk number one, and Incredible Hulk 377. Marvel's epilogue number one. All new standalone epilogue. That was written by Kurt Busiek and this is going to have a bunch of different covers for it as well. We have a regular Alex Ross cover, regular price Ron Lim variant, a regular price Scotty Young variant, there's an incentive photo variant, an incentive variant by Dave Johnson, there's a Fred Hembeck incentive variant, an incentive Dave Cockrum variant, as well as an incentive Alex Ross sketch variant. Swordmaster number one. Spinning right out of War of the Realms. Swordmaster is getting his own title. This is gonna have two different covers for it. There's a regular, as well as a regular price John Tyler Christopher action figure variant. Valkyrie Jane Foster number one. While well, everyone right now is searching for Jane Foster as Thor, here we have Jane Foster as Valkyrie coming out of War of the Realms, coming out of War of the Realms Omega. Valkyrie, number one issue. It's gonna have five different covers for it. There's a regular cover. There's a regular price Megan Hetrick cover. A 1 in 25 incentive variant by Russell Dodderman, a 1 in 50 incentive variant by Terry Dodson, and an incentive hidden gem variant by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. Web of Venom Funeral Pyro number one. Colin Bunn was writing Venom for a couple issues. Now he's writing this series where Carnage has been hunting former symbiote hosts and killing them. This is gonna have three different covers for it. There's a regular price Declan Shelby cover. There's an incentive variant by Clayton Crane and a one in 50 incentive coax variant. Honor and Curse number six. This is the last issue. Love this story. It's from Mad Cave Studios. The writing by Mark London has been phenomenal. The art in it by Nicholas Salamanca has been gorgeous. If you're a fan of Samurais and Supernatural, definitely recommend picking this up. If you don't pick this issue up and haven't read it yet, least recommend getting the trade when it comes out. Love this story, so this issue is going on my pull list. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 41. Issue number 40 kicked off the new story arc with Necessary Evil. This issue is going to reveal a new enemy to the Power Rangers and it's going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Jamal Campbell, a regular priced foil variant by Goni Montez, a regular priced FOC variant by Dan Mora, as well as an incentive variant by Chris Anka. I would highly recommend at least getting that Dan Moore FOC variant. In our interview with the Rune Singh from Boom Studios, he highly recommended make sure you're getting those Dan Moore variants because each one of those Dan Moore covers is a single page of an 11 page story. That's gonna lean up to an ultimate reveal. So if you can, make sure you're getting those Dan Moore FOC variants. So there it is guys, those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, July 24th, 2019. As always, comment down below, let me know books you guys are picking up. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you click that thumbs up button for me. And if this is your first time here, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so that way you'll always be notified when a future video drops on this channel. Question of the day. 
Given the recent San Diego Comic-Con Marvel news, what movie are you looking most forward to in MCU Phase 4? This is Brian with Superman's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week.